Hey again, Jack. But right, I thought we'd cover a little bit on uh, in plain clothes uh, for some self defenses. Uh, you know, right now we're in an interesting time with, uh, for the first time in my life, I imagine people wanting to wear masks in the public places. Uh, I can only imagine our facial recognition uh, technology is up on that, but uh, I don't know what that's going to bring, honestly. And uh, in a world of paying attention to people, it, it's paramount for self defense because you have the upper hand. So, Personally, what I look for anytime I go out is big coats, whether it be a trench coat or something baggy. I look for glasses, I look for a hat or a hoodie to hide my identity or someone trying to hide their identity from everyone else to not be recognized. When I see someone going to a store like that, it gets my attention quickly. Um, are they shoplifting or maybe they're carrying something? It could be a firearm or something like that. Um, again, uh, the glasses uh, cover the eyes and, uh, and there's several reasons for people to do that. The other thing you'll look for is, again, the hands. Where are the hands at? Um, when they're in a pocket from here, you know, it's pretty innocent. I see people do it all the time. And so quickly to bring out a firearm, whether this be a training firearm in this purpose. But still, um, I look for that infamous clip on those uh, uh, knives. Um, this is that Karambit knife I've talked about before. It's a very evil knife, I think, for training and fast and usable. Now, if I really want to keep myself, um, you know, it, you want to blend in. Uh, Secret Service actually does training on this, believe it or not, for their agents and how not to be noticed. So obviously, uh, a plain shirt, a plain, plain pants, usually something untucked again because it still covers up that, that bladed knife a little bit and it gives me where I can walk right in. Um, glasses come off, obviously. Uh, you'll see uh, a lot of banks have policies of glasses and hats for that reason. They want to look at the eyes. And you want to see what they can see. Uh, same with the hat. The hat comes off. Um, be surprised even in martial arts and self-defense uh, what we'll find in hats from a razor blade from hitting someone. So we're pretty careful a lot of times with what we do when we ask people to take something off, take it off slowly. Um, just some keen things to look at when you're out and about, what the person's wearing uh, and what they're looking for. It might keep you a little safer. As always, uh, you know, uh, if you find yourself in a fair fight, it means you didn't train for the fight. So keeping yourself, uh, uh, at, at, let me say at bay, but at least paying attention does offer some uh, real advantages to, uh, you know, far ahead of actually punching, kicking, and choking. So take care of yourself. Uh, can't wait to get some training back going here, and uh, take care. Bye now.